The calendar has turned to October, and that means fall sports are heating up here at the Hall, and we've got it all for you here. This is PSN Whip Around. This past Sunday, the women's soccer team fell 3-0 to number 7 Georgetown during the Mary Jennings Memorial Game. The Pirates were able to keep it scoreless the entire first half until the 50th minute when Georgetown scored their first goal. Senior Anna McLean had another phenomenal game where she recorded seven saves. Sophomores Cassie Harrigan and Izzy Angle each were able to register shots against the Georgetown defense. The Pirates are hoping to get their first Big East win tonight against the Villanova Wildcats, where you can watch on the Big East Digital Network. This Sunday, the Pirates will be traveling to Creighton, where you can watch the match on GoCreighton.com. The volleyball team will be on the road for a couple of Big East battles this weekend. On Friday night, they'll be taking on Creighton in Omaha, and they travel back to the East Coast for a match with Providence on Sunday. You can keep up with all the action at Shoe Volley on Twitter, as well as at ShoePirates.com. Men's and women's cross country returns to action this Saturday as they race in the NJIT Invitational in Newark. Last time out, both men's and women's teams secured first place finishes in the UMES Cappy Anderson Invitational. For the women's, freshman Emma Newgarden secured her second first place finish of the season as three other Pirates finished in the top five. For the men's, Jesse Southard and Jared Moser paced the field as both finished in first and second place, respectively. You can follow on Twitter at SHU Cross Country for live updates. The men's soccer team suffered a tough 1-0 setback this past weekend against number 9 Creighton. However, a bright spot in the game was goalkeeper Andreas Nota, and for the second time this season, he earned himself a spot on the Big East weekly honor roll. The team is back in action this weekend in Chicago, facing DePaul with three huge Big East points on the line. You can catch the game on the Big East Digital Network. Swimming and diving is back in action this weekend to take on Ryder in their first meet of the year. We caught off with some of the swimmers and divers for their thoughts going into the weekend. Practices aren't easy, um, but I think that's good. It's preparing us for this whole season, and I'm excited to see how everyone does. We feel pretty confident. We've been practicing for a month, over a month actually. And Derek and Sean have been killing us, so we feel pretty confident going to the first meet. And we're excited to see what's in the next month and a half. This past weekend, the women's golf team competed at the Princeton Invitational where they took sixth place. Junior Carolina Ronchelle Salas led the team to their sixth place finish when she shot a one under par on Sunday's final round. At one point, she had 11 straight pars and shot a birdie on two out of her final three holes. As a team, Seton Hall shot a 25 over par and finished just two strokes out of third place. Their next match will be this weekend where they will compete at the Yale Women's Intercollegiate Invitational where they will play three rounds starting on Friday. You can catch all the action on Shoe Women's Golf on Twitter.